Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely gift bag. It's a great size, it's six by six by two and a quarter. But the fun thing about this one is the snowman pops up. So the snowman pops out of the pudding, which these are part of my new Christmas dies that I've just launched along with the papers. And I just wanted to show you some other fun ways to use them. You don't always have to put them onto cards. So I'm going to do this one today, but I'm also going to use the five by seven dies and show you how you can make that gift bag as well. Because I know people will ask as soon as I show it. So I thought I'd do two gift bags in one tutorial. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, for that six by six size, you will want two pieces of cardstock that are eight and three quarters by eight and a quarter. Okay, so along the eight and three quarter side, you want to score at six and eight and a quarter. Then rotate it and score at six. And do that on both of the pieces. So that's to make that version or this size here. Now the other die set I have, which you would have seen in my launch, is the five by seven and it will create this card here. So we've got the fun one with Santa's boots. So if you want to use that mechanism, then this is the size gift bag you will need. So you'll want two pieces that are seven and a half by nine. Along the seven and a half inch side, you want to score at five and seven. This, and then along the nine inch side, you want to score at seven. And again, do that on both of the pieces. So now we can get all of that folded and burnished. Okay, so I've just folded all my score lines. So first of all, I'll do the six by six ones. So with the half inch tab on your right hand side, you want to cut up this score line here. I made this during my launch um, Facebook Live, so some of you will already be familiar with this. And then cut up this one, just to the first score line. And then this one here, I'm just gonna cut on a little angle, just to remove. And then we can start to create this tab and do the same on the top there. Okay, so that's our tab. This piece here, I'll just take a couple of wedges off of each side, just so nothing sticks out. Doesn't matter if they're a bit wonky like mine are. But you want to repeat that and do exactly the same on this one. And you're going to do exactly the same on the five by seven. So again, there's my half inch tab. You're just going to cut up to the first score line. Okay, and now we want to stick these together. So I'm going to grab my quick grab glue and you'll do exactly the same with both of the gift bags. So I'm just gonna run my glue down that half inch tab, like so. And then you wanna sit this next one over the top. Focus on the bottom and make sure you get your score line lined up perfectly with this one here. Like so. And then if you fold that half of that one over, and again, pop your glue down your tab. And then all you've got to do is fold that side over, and it should all perfectly line up. And then I like to fold it back that way, and that will just ensure everything's gonna all line up. Now, if you wanted to keep this as a fold flat to store for the moment, then I would suggest don't seal the bottom just yet because you can still decorate all of this without closing it off at the bottom. But it just means if you do want to make a few of these, you can see how easily you can store them away until the last minute. So, but if you do, <laughs> which I do, so I'm going to now use my Kalau because I want to add that strength to the base. So I'm going to pop in this one here because I always like to conceal my side pieces. So I'm just going to add, I open this up so you can see it all better. So I'm going to add my glue all along here. And then just fold in the sides. Add a bit more glue onto the tops of those tabs. And this is a 300 GSM cardstock as well, so it's very, very strong. So you could definitely put something with a bit of weight in this. And then just fold that one down. Flip it over and with a ruler, I'm just going to push down the base there. But that's the five by seven all finished. And then we do the same with the six by six. So again, I'm gonna add my glue. I'm just gonna put it together exactly the same way as I did the other one. Okay, 
Okay, so there are the bags all stuck together. So now I'm going to start decorating. So I'm going to do the six by six first. So this is the six by six mechanism and you can see it creates your Christmas pudding or the cupcake, or you can turn it into a muffin. You can also just use this piece on its own. So you can create like a snow mound, sand and things like that, which I've shown in all of the samples. If you've missed my sample and release video, I'll link it up here <laughs> and then you'll be able to get a bit more inspiration as well. So what you want to do is die cut. In my case, I've die cut it in this brown here because it's going to be the base of my pudding. So that's that one. Then I've die cut the topping. So you can see how that's going to sit over there. And that's using this one here. And then you also want to die cut the main mechanism, which is this one, into your pattern paper. So there's that striped and it will give you these two slots here. And then also you want to die cut your pulley. So I've die cut it twice in the 300 GSM white card stock and I've stuck them together so it's a nice strong pulley that we've got there and that's that die. You've also got your holly, you've got your cherries, you've got your icicles, snowflakes, so there's other bits and pieces there as well. So what you want to do is with your pulley and this piece is you're going to go in from the top and then you're going to come out from the bottom one just like so. I'm now using the elf and I'll bring in the stamp set I've used here which is this one and I'm going to be using the Merry Christmas Pudding stamp you've got your elf, your snowman and there's the holly which I'm also using to decorate my pudding and I'm going to have the pull as well which I've already got here and you will stamp that onto the top so that people know what to do so with this one here you just want to use a thin piece of red tape the thinner the tape and glue the better because then more of your image will pop out so I'm just going to run a tiny amount just along the bottom here and then I'm just going to line up the bottom of my image like so. So now when we pull it up he will stop just there as far as you can go and it will not go down any further because it's got the stopper at the top there as well. Then with this one here I like to use foam tape so I've just got some that I've stuck onto some of my wax paper here and I'm just going to cut just two pieces, so that one and that one. And I'm just going to run them along the sides here. So just one there. Just check you've obviously got room for whatever image you have. I can see now if I just pop him underneath, you can see he has plenty of room. He's not going to uh, you know, stick to the, the sides there of that tape or anything. So now I just take the backing off and then line the bottom of this up with the bottom of the pattern paper. Make sure you've got a nice little bit of a border either side and then stick that down. So you can see now he's all concealed behind there. Now with this one here I want to stamp my sentiment. I actually still have this in my stamping platform from when I done the live demo so I know it's going to line up just where I need it. And then I'm just going to add another strip of tape just in there. I like this to be slightly lifted, to push it in on the side a little bit there. And then this one you just line up with the top, stick that one down. And then I have the pull. You can do this before you attach it but it's still it's just as easy to do it this way as well. And just like so. Okay, so now we can start attaching it to the gift bag. So I've got the same size here, which I've cut for the back. So this is five and three quarters squared. So I'm going to pop this piece onto the back. And I've got these two pieces for the sides, which are two by five and three quarters. Okay, and then with this one, you just want to add your glue Go quite thin near the mechanism because you don't want it to interfere with it when it spreads out a little bit. And then again just give it that same border like so. Okay and then whilst that's drying I've got all the little bits to decorate so I'm going to pop my Holly just there and then these pieces here are all from the Christmas props so this is this stamp set here so I've used the little gingerbread man, the candy cane, the naughty and nice, 
you've got the presents there so I'm just going to add a couple of little bits here and I might have the naughty and nice kind of there you again make sure your elf can pop out and it's not going to obstruct that so I think maybe that one there and that one just there I think that looks really fun and then I'm going to pop the candy cane just behind the gingerbread man there as well so let's pop these all in place okay so that's all done so now I'm just going to punch my holes here I said during the live I've given my um, smaller handheld punch to my mum so I am having to use my very large crocodile but it's okay and then I can pop my handles through so I just save these from any of my fancy shopping bags old gift bags that people have given to me but you can just use ribbon and just put a knot on the end it will work just as well but now if I pull that all through you have a really lovely gift bag all you've got to do is put some tissue paper over the top and then up pops that wonderful elf I, th I think it's so cute I'm really really pleased with that one so that is the six by six now I'm going to show you how to decorate the five by seven so this is the five by seven die set so this will create your parcel and your chimney so I'm going to do the chimney today and I'm also going to add a few other bits and pieces so I've already gone ahead and cut the square die here and this rectangle one and this will give you your chimney and I'm going to stick that on some foam again I've die cut the pulley here with two pieces of cardstock and just stuck them on top of each other so it's nice and strong and then this one here I'm actually going to die cut this one so again this is the papers from the paper pad I've just cut it down a little bit but now I'm just going to make sure I've got this image in the top right hand corner which I've been using a lot I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape just along the top there and run that through pop it down there as well I'm just going to run that through my machine and then again with your pulley you're just going to slide it in the top and then out the bottom like so again before I stamp, stuck it all down I'm just going to stamp the pull and it comes in both of the stamp sets so this one here you have your Santa and Rudolph in the presents and lights and his boots and you have the pull stamp there and then I've got my Father Christmas so I've already coloured him in and cut him out and again using that same red tape I'm just going to put a very thin amount along the bottom and then I'm just going to attach him like so now with the chimney I'm going to be using my stencil which is also new so just pop this to one side and I'm just going to ink up the base here so I'm just going to lay this down I'm not too worried about the top because this is going to cover it so I just want to make sure I line up my stencil I can just see the bottom there through the stencil so I'm just going to hold it in place and then I've got this brown ink and I'm just going to go over So that's that one, it probably will take a little bit, a few more seconds to dry, it is a quick dry ink but I will just give that a second, no nope, that's dry, that's perfect so I'm pleased with that. So now I'm just going to grab my foam tape and again I'm just going to run a strip along this one, stick this one over the top like so, so we can see our chimney now coming together. Then I have the snow here, which I'm going to stick on at the top, and this one also comes in the builder scene stamp set. You've got it here. You've also got brickwork, so if you don't use a stencil, you can use that. And again, I've shown that on samples, but that's the one that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to attach that, and I'm, I think what I'm going to do actually today is I'm going to use the fluffy stuff. So I think I'm going to cover it and then heat set it with this because I've not used it yet but you can add glitter to this which you've seen me do so I'm just going to add this all over in fact I might go over the actual I'm going to cover this whole piece so yeah cut it out and then let's see how this goes like I said I haven't done it yet I've used the stuff lots of times but I haven't done it on this 
this one yet. And for those of you that haven't seen it, this is really awesome stuff. The more that you use, the more you will it will expand. So okay. Now the key for this is to make sure that your heat gun is very, very hot. I'm just gonna get this warmed up. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up close. Okay, so now if I bring this up, look at that. It's so cool. It really looks like snow. Love it. So I'm just gonna give that a second to cool down, but now I can stick that along the top. So just to show you the different ways it can look, that's it using some glitter and the stamp. You've also got the die in the die set, which will create this more, I guess, contemporary style snow. And you've also got, I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so there's a few options there depending on what you want to do, but there it is using the fluffy stuff, which I think looks fantastic. So I'm now going to use the Kalau glue. It's still actually quite warm, so and I'm just going to attach that. Okay, so I just went over it one more time because there was actually still quite a bit still wet. You'll know when it's done, when it stops lifting. So, but look at that, isn't that cool? Really, really like it. So now I'm gonna run my tape again either side and you can see where Father Christmas will sit. So you can see how thick you can go with your tape. But again, I'm just gonna use this width here. Just up both sides there and then take that backing off. And again, just line it up with the bottom. Make sure you've got an even side there and lay that one down and now yay father christmas pops out of the chimney okay then i've got a few bits to decorate and my mats and layers so this piece is five by seven so again i'm going to stick that onto the back these pieces here are one and three quarters no they're not they should be they should be one and three quarters by six and three quarters i'm going to stick all these down just the same way that i did with the other gift bag. Okay, so that's it now attached to the gift bag. And again, it just, it's just so much fun. I love doing these. I'm gonna hole punch and use this brown kind of handles that I've got. But I just wanna talk through quickly about the Rudolph here. So you'll see if you've got the dies, the Rudolph die is this solid die. So, and a little tip here as well on how to line up your die. So I thought I'd keep this one in. If you just die cut a piece of cardstock just with that on its own without the stamped image and use that as a template, you then line that back up with your stamped image, okay? And then just pop your die into there, it will lock into place, tape all of that down, and I'm gonna run that through my die machine. The other thing you could do is die cut this again in white and then just put a piece of double-sided sticky tape on the back of it and lay it you know, down onto a surface or onto your stamping platform and then line up your stamp and stamp over it. So that's two ways to do it, just in case you're kind of thinking, well, I can't see how to cut my stamped image. This is the easiest way to do it. So I'm just gonna pop my die in place, but also make sure the paper underneath doesn't shift. So I'll just tack that as well. So I'm just gonna run that through. Okay, and now that's all just coming apart. Oh, I think because I used the glossy accents on him beforehand, it's taken it off his nose, but I can just go over that again in a minute. But now you'll see that's all just die cut. Okay, so that's the easiest way to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna put some red Nouveau drops on his nose because don't put your glossy accents on and then die cut it. <laughs> One to remember there. And then I've got all these pieces now to decorate. Okay, so there are my finished gift bags. So I'll just bring this one up a bit closer. You can see the handles that I've used here. 
those lovely, I think they've worked out really well. I wasn't sure at first, but they, they match the chimney perfectly. And you can see he's now got a glossy red nose, which looks fantastic. Loving the snow, definitely recommend that. I'll link it below, it's amazing stuff. And then you can see here, this one, like I said, a little bit different to that one, because I've just added a few more of the props, but you've got the wonderful <laughs> elf that pops up there. And again, Father Christmas waving hello and then this one you have the snowman so really enjoyed these i can't wait to put some lovely gifts in these and um, pop them under the tree when i put that up so thanks for watching i'll link everything as always below and uh, look out for more fun tutorials using lots of this product thanks for watching bye